In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing of your Epson Workforce 2960 all-in-one printer and how to do the complete setup. set of four in cartridges and a power cable and you also get a manual so remove the protective tape you lift this section it will hold itself now remove this protective tape and also from this section now press it down at the back you will see there is a point to plug in the power cable so one end goes here Switch on the power button, go to the printer display panel, now you can lift it. So this is a touch screen printer, so select your language. Now we can do the setup using a smartphone and we can just scan the barcode and go to the Epson smart panel app, you can download this app and the other option is to continue setup without the app. So I will just select the second option. Select your country, select if it's a winter or summer time. Select the format you want for the date to display, press OK. You can also select it and press OK. Next step is to install the setup ink cartridges. Lift the printer from this side, so it will open the ink chamber. Now take your ink cartridges, remove the packing. Also remove this yellow seal. Repeat it for all four ink cartridges. Place the ink cartridges. So you match the color and the alphabets. Press it down. It will lock itself. Place all four ink cartridges. Now press this door down. Go to the printer screen. Click on the installed. So it's going to take around five minutes. So we have installed the ink cartridges. Next is to do the alignment for print quality so click adjustment now we have to install the paper so this printer has paper tray at the bottom you can see that's the cassette paper tray so we can install the pgc here on the display panel click on the adjust recommended Click on the print. We have already installed the letter size paper, so click print. Paper output tray is here, so we can just slide it out. So on this page, we have to confirm. So check what kind of result is here, and you have to select it here. So I will just select this one. Again, click on the print recommended and press OK. Click next. So it will print more page. On this page you have to select the box that is printed in a very good quality and you have to enter the details of the screen. And now we have to print the page that is the third page. On the third page we have to select the correct line that is not broken and it is completely straight. So we have to select that, click on the print. Select where the overlapping is not done. So that's number 6. So whatever the number is there, you have to just select and place it in. So print head alignment is complete. Press OK. Press OK. If you want to set up the facts, you can do it now or you can do it later. You can remind it later. Yes. On the main screen, you will see copy, scan, fax. So all the icons are available. And if you scroll ahead, you will see the setting icon. Next step is to Connect this printer with your Wi-Fi network. For that you have to go to the settings. Click on the general settings. Network settings. Wi-Fi setup. Select Wi-Fi recommended. Start setup. 
Wi-Fi setter wizard. Select a Wi-Fi network from the list and enter its password. Enter the password and it will start the setup process. So printer is available on the Wi-Fi. Click close and you can press the home button. Next step is to add this printer in any device. For example, if you want to use it with your laptop, MacBook, you can do that. And if you want to download the drivers, you can go to the Epson website and you can download that. Now I'm going to show you how to add in your iPhone. In the iPhone, you have to download the Epson Smart Panel app. In the Epson Smart Panel app, we have to add the printer. So click on the plus button on the top. Select the second option, connect to a product already on Wi-Fi. It will display Epson Workforce 2960 series printer. Select it. Connection is complete. So our printer is available on the smartphone. Press OK. If you want to update the printer, you can do that. And now we can start using it. It displays the estimated level of ink. We can start using it for printing, scanning. This way we can do the complete setup of this printer. Thanks for watching.